Assalamu alaikum, my name is Mohamed Shumas Riyaz. You are watching my YouTube channel. Welcome back to the series of videos in which we are going to simulate green ammonia and aspen hyphae. So this is the second lecture in which we are going to see that how we can simulate and produce one of the raw materials that is nitrogen for the manufacture of green ammonia. For the green ammonia, this nitrogen must be gained from the cryogenic distillation of air. So this is the case study that we are going to be followed and we are simulating a plant that will be producing 1000 tons per day of ammonia. So in the first video, we have already seen that how much amount of air uh, we require. So that is the amount of air we require for the uh, production of uh, 1000 tons of ammonia. So this amount of uh, air will give us 1225 moles of nitrogen. That will be enough for manufacture of 1000 tons per day of ammonia. So let's uh, first of all we will move to our simulation that I had already uh, simulated. So this is uh, first, uh, this from this section uh, to if I go this. So up till here this is the cryogenic distillation of air. So let's move a new simulation. So now you can see that I have moved to my simulation environment. So here and now you can see that I have to compress the air for, from atmospheric pressure to 700 kilopascal. Uh, 700 kilopascal or you can say 7 bar uh, with the help of compressor. So generally uh, we use a compression ratio that is 2. Uh, we cannot use a single compressor. It is very rare in industry that you use a single compressor uh, for, for if you want to take uh, increase the pressure of air. Uh, so generally the compression ratios using industry is 2 or below uh, 2 or you can say 1.5 to 2.5. So here, uh, if I have to increase the pressure of air from atmospheric pressure to uh, 700 kilopascal or from 101 kPa to 700 kPa, I have to use three compressors, compressor stages uh, with the compression ratio of 1.88 and 1. So now I can write as uh, I have to use compression ratio uh, as uh, 1.881 uh, with three compressor stages you can calculate uh, these stages uh, the formula that uh, you can use uh, to calculate the number of stages is very simple you have to uh, define your uh, final pressure initial pressure and this one over and uh, shows the uh, your number of stages and this r will give you uh, will give you the compression ratio so i have used chat gpt for this calculation uh, so generally i have maintained a compression ratio below 2 for my this simulation so here now uh, i will go to my this flow sheet and model and here now i will add my three compressors over here so these three will uh, be making my three number of stages so this is one this is two and here i will again use another compressor so uh, i will double click on it and uh, they, that will be my air one uh, so you can just compressor air one in so you can write here as compressor air uh, one out so you can write here as energy compressor air one and e so here you will go to the parameters and here you will define your compression ratio as 1.881 uh, i will go to my worksheet and here i will specify in the ambient conditions for my air i will take as the ambient condition ambient temperature is 35 pressure is 101 the molar flow we have already calculated in the previous video that was 1550 uh, but i am going to take 1600 uh, to make up for the losses if they are any. so 1600 and now the nitrogen uh, is 0 0.79 uh, oxygen is 